going on you with the pick and roll. Young flame, he in sickle mode. Hit or miss, I guess they never miss, huh? You got a boyfriend, I bet he doesn't kiss ya. I'm still missing an L. <laughs> Um, because I'm poor. <laughs> um, hi guys, how's it going? So, I was editing my JoJo Siwa video, and I took a break to go on Twitter, and I have been seeing a lot of people defending Offset for <laughs> cheating on Cardi B, calling her extremely heartless, and really normalizing cheating, and acting like she's just this crazy fucking broad, that just can't accept her good relationship especially with this recent situation where he came up on stage while she was performing i guess i don't know i don't really keep up with a lot of this stuff to be honest i'm not a huge cardi b fan anymore i don't know what it was i just am not i was more of a fan of her when i was a stripper and now i'm not and i'm just kind of like <sighs> i think there's better female rappers out there but she doesn't deserve all the shit that she's been going through. Um, it's very bizarre how people want to normalize cheating and act like when someone is being cheated on that it's just part of a relationship. That cheating is just a hurdle you have to get over and that's just part of a relationship and if you can't get over the hurdle of someone cheating on you it means that you don't care for that person and that you don't care for the relationship um that's called gaslighting for one and this isn't specifically men cheating on women although i do see this behavior more with men cheating on women and i that's just honestly what I see more. Um, I don't really see a lot of women cheating on men and then women justifying it and then women being like, well, that's just part of the relationship. It seems more like a thing that dudes do to gaslight women into thinking that they're fucking crazy and that they don't care about the relationship, that they don't care about them, which is extremely emotionally abusive and not okay. I've also been seeing a lot of people that are like, why can't we just be like our moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas where when stuff like this happens, they just grow up and get over it? Because society is better than it was 20 years ago, 40 years ago, 50 years ago. We're better than this. Um, when we are cheated on now, we don't just justify it and say that, oh, that's just, that's just part of your relationship and you need to get over it and move on. No. If someone cheats on you, leave them. Leave them. There's literally no reason to accidentally cheat. It's not something that accidentally happens, you know? I, it's not just like the same as getting into an argument or a disagreement with your significant other. Um, you have different opinions on something or they did something that's irritating. Cheating is a big fucking deal. And I'm not really sure why there's this culture of people that are like, well, sometimes accidents happen and sometimes when you're out and about, you just start fucking someone. Sometimes it just happens. No, if you love somebody, you're not going to go out and fuck someone else. Unless you're like in an open relationship and that's not what we're talking about here. Obviously, we're talking about monogamy and monogamous relationships where you are cheating and it's not normal and it's so fucking nuts how people think that cardi b is so fucking heartless and that she doesn't love her baby daddy and it's bad for it's bad for her daughter this is horrible that they say that she doesn't care about her daughter and her daughter having a relationship with her father when obviously she does care about it and honestly if he's cheating on her all the time that's not a good household for to be raising a child for her daughter it's not and it doesn't it's not an example that she needs to be setting for her daughter because when you get cheated on it fucking hurts dude 
it fucking hurts. And I'm sorry if you cheat on people all the time and you don't understand how much it fucking hurts somebody. I'm sorry if you don't understand that, but it fucking hurts. It ruins your trust. It ruins your potential of having healthy relationships because you're always fucking paranoid. And this is coming from me who has been cheated on before and I have seen how much it has just made being in a normal healthy relationship difficult when there's literally nothing wrong like I'm always like fucking paranoid and stuff and it's something that I have to work through and get over but it fucking sucks because I wouldn't have these thoughts I never really had thoughts in my head of a dude cheating on me and that I would be cheated on all the time until I was cheated on and once it fucking happened it's always in the back of my mind that someone's gonna cheat on me when there's like the person I'm with isn't going to and it happens to a lot of people and it fucks with you it fucks with your ability to trust people because when you're in a relationship with somebody that person is like your rock that person is supposed to be your best friend and when they break something so important to you and they break your trust and they lie to you like that lying is horrible lying to your significant other is trash and cheating is the ultimate lie you can fucking do you know um it just ruins it just ruins a lot for you it mentally fucks with you and for her to decide that she can't be with offset anymore and that she in my head, I'm thinking she knows that she doesn't want to normalize this and raise her daughter in a household where her daughter thinks that being cheated on is normal. Guys treating you like shit is normal. Guys being mentally abusive is normal. And while men may not be hitting on you and shit, while your significant other may not be hitting you and shit like that, the mental abuse stuff really fucks with you for your entire fucking life. And... The fact that people think that mental abuse isn't real and that it doesn't matter and that when people finally stand up to their partner that's mentally abusing them, they're fucking crazy and they're this absolutely insane person, that's gaslighting and that is mental abuse. And when someone finally has the bravery to stand up and be like, you know what, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm getting out of this. I'm taking my child. I'm getting out of this. I want, I would rather be a single mom and raise my child in a space where she is respected and knows that women are respected and that relationships are sacred and you're supposed to respect your partner how does that make somebody crazy you guys need to grow the fuck up it's time to grow up sorry <laughs> sorry cheating isn't normal sorry cheating isn't just a hurdle that you need to get over sorry gaslighting and mentally abusing your partner and making them feel fucking insane for standing up for themselves isn't normal and it's not healthy the worst relationship i was ever in um the dude would shame me for being a cam girl even though i was a cam girl for years before i even met him he knew what i did i'm always i was always straightforward about what i did um he was a huge cokehead, would do a fuck ton of drugs, would cheat on me all the fucking time, would go and spend money on strippers, but then he didn't want me to be a stripper and would often shame me for camming or stripping or whatever um, and call me a whore and a thought and all that kind of shit. Um, and whenever I would stand up for myself, he would tell people around him that I was fucking crazy and that I was fucking dumb and that I was a huge greedy whore and shit like that. But, you know, as soon as I get into a healthy relationship, he suddenly wants to be back with me. So I think it's really bizarre how people think that these are normal healthy relationships and it's really sad i think it does stem from people growing up in households that were abusive mentally maybe your parents didn't hit you but if your parents are arguing all fucking day screaming at each other if your mom or your dad is che one of them's cheating on uh, the other one it puts shit in your head that you think is normal i thought Whenever I was younger, I don't think this now, but whenever I was younger, 
I thought that putting hands on your significant other was normal. I thought screaming and getting in someone's face and antagonizing them until they beat your ass, I thought that was just how shit was until I grew up, until I experienced life. And it sucks that people are in, <laughs> no one should ever believe that, but it sucks that people are in their like late 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, and they still believe that this is just normal and that's how shit is and they didn't grow up and then they keep passing it down so people are just in this fucking giant cycle of abuse. And it's it just sucks. <laughs> it just sucks. And growing up in a household that wasn't necessarily ideal, I can see where it comes from, but it doesn't justify it, you know? It's horrible. And it sucks that so many people want to go out and shame a woman for leaving her abusive boyfriend. <laughs> or want to shame a woman for leaving a relationship where she was constantly cheated on. And you shouldn't be in a relationship where you're cheated on. If you love somebody, you're not going to cheat on them. Cheating isn't just a little mistake you make off and on, you know? I know there's going to be a bunch of crybaby boys in the comments that are like, Well, you said one, one of the sentences that women, women leave men, abusive men. Well, one time I was... Yeah, bitch, fuck, I know. I fucking know. I'm speaking on my own experiences. I think people don't understand a lot of the time that this is a culture that glorifies men cheating but if a woman were to cheat if cardi b were to cheat on offset over over people would tell offset to move on and fuck other thoughts and that cardi b is a fucking whore thought disgusting skank wow see she's a fucking stripper see that's what those nasty fucking thoughts that have sex for money that's what they fucking do they cheat nasty fucking thoughts even though offset cheated on her several times she gave him many many chances and it's just people really there really is <laughs> not trying to go all feministy on you right now but there really is a culture where if men cheat if men do shit like this it's just boys being boys cheating is just part of it you see a fucking sexy ass girl you have to have sex with her even if you are in a relationship but if a woman were to do the same thing whore thought we have to stone her in the fucking courtyard and if you don't believe me you can look at other celebrity situations where the woman has cheated and done horrible things and how people treat her there aren't not everybody is agreeing with offset i was actually pretty happy and pretty surprised to see that a lot of people were actually defending cardi now and they aren't saying that they aren't normalizing this like cheating culture we have now and they aren't saying that offset needs to be forgiven They're like no move on. He doesn't fucking deserve it. You cheated multiple fucking times one time I would be out the fucking door, but multiple times after she trusted you so many times you continue to cheat Personally, I don't believe that once per someone cheats once that they're never gonna do it again You got away with it once you're gonna fucking try again. You you a hundred percent are it's like people that fucking steal You steal once you get away with it. You try it again, you know, and it's like I uh, I can't relate and I'm glad there's more people that are standing up for her and saying that this isn't normal and that you guys are fucking crazy and that this isn't how relationships should be. And if you think they are, you're extremely toxic. You are. And your relationships are toxic. And I hope that you can get some therapy or grow up or learn that this isn't normal. This isn't like how relationships are supposed to be. You don't just cheat back and forth. Even if you are in a relationship that you guys are cheating on each other to get back at each other and shit. It's not normal. I've had girlfriends that would, their boyfriend would cheat on him, so she would cheat back to get back at him. And then they would just go back and forth doing that, and it's like, or you could just break up. You could just break up. You don't have to be together. There's millions of humans on the planet. You can be with anybody you want. Be single. A lot of these people just need to be single. Honestly, be single. You could fuck anyone. <laughs> you know? If you're single, you can do whatever you want. 
And it's just, uh, people just like being in toxic situations. I feel like they don't know any better, and I hope they do find peace, and I hope they do find a way out of those situations. It took me a long time to get out of situations where I thought screaming at your significant other was normal, I thought my boyfriend hitting me was normal, and now it's not something I would accept. Not at all. It's not normal at all. And while we all have our faults and whatnot, it's like you got to grow up at some point. And it sucks that people are out here in, like, their 30s still doing this shit. Grow up. It's time to stop. Time to grow up. Leave your opinions down below. I know people are going to disagree with me. Please don't fucking come at me saying, Oh, well, men, it happens to men too. I know it happens to men. Often when women speak about experiences of their own that relate to a situation, we tend to say, well, when men do this to women, because that's how it happened to us, I know this happens to men, I know it does. Honestly, I would, like I said before, disagree and say that when men cheat, it's more normalized, and when women cheat, it is like the worst thing that could ever happen and she should be killed. <laughs> Honestly, that's from my experience. Maybe it's just from the people that I've been around and the shit I have seen. I could be wrong. I don't know. Leave me your opinions down below. Um, I want to go back to editing this Mimi wholesome JoJo Siwa video. I'm not really criticizing her. It's more just like very bizarre to watch one of her videos for the first time um all my nails are fucking falling off anyway um <laughs> um i am streaming more on here so uh make sure you hit the notification bell not that it matters someone told me that they still don't get notifications so fuck me i guess um i do not stream on twitch anymore i only stream here on youtube um all my links are down below and make sure you subscribe Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to find out when I'm streaming. And yeah, come hang out with us. I fixed a lot of my lag problems with uh, PlayStation 4 and Switch. Um, I changed the resolution up so the lag is non-existent now, which is really rad. And yeah, come, come hang out with me. Um, and I hope you guys have a good day. Let me know your experiences down below please and thank you um i am probably gonna put this out before the jojo siwa video but yeah thank you guys for watching and don't let someone cheat on you and don't let someone gaslight you you deserve better men and women alike non-binary i don't give a fuck what you are just you deserve better than being cheated on and gaslit all day so you know what yeah hug your pets bye